Conference Women's Basketball on ESPN+. Coming to you live from Western Hall on the campus of Western Illinois University in Macomb. In for the jump, McCowan and McGowan. Excuse me, McGlone. Eastern coming up with player of the year, averaging 18 points and 12 rebounds this season. She has been a force in the paint. Here's a Illinois. Here's Monahan. Beyond the arc, back and forth, gets it over the top of Dins for two. And Monahan came right off that, right off the pick and then sunk the jump shot. Dins find McCowan driving Good through boys. behind. His career record: 310 wins. He's Eddie Brownfield at the line. Very nimble at her size. Has great footwork, great basketball IQ as well. Monahan pushing her way through to Dietz. They're going to slow it down. Great job there by Eastern Illinois, stopping the ball in transition. Beautiful backdoor. Founder, once again, that passing ability by Alyssa Dins, it's, it opens up an entirely new dynamic of this offense. Monahan for Gravina. to Lewis for two. Macy McGlone to make an impact offensively and defensively as well. Dins backing down into McGlone, and she's going to find a spot. Surrounding her, that's what you have to do every time she touches the ball, or else it's going to be a bucket. Dins, Meadows for three. She three. gets that one. Great team defense is going to be essential for the Leathernecks, especially, I uh, can't stress it enough, on Macy McGlone as she attempts her jump shot here and sinks it. Illinois Panthers, 72-63. Ellis had 17 points off of the bench in that game. Here's Thornton driving through the lane. In the coming possession, here's a steal. That one looks like it might have been off the foot of the Leathernecks. Regardless, here's McDermott for three. Eastern inbound to McGlone. She's got a one-on-one -on, -one on Dins backing her in. Ellis for two. You're always, as a player, you always think you're set. Five seconds left in the quarter. Here's Reed. Reed's going to have to give it up. Taking it himself is McDermott for no, that's no. Coming from Arizona to Illinois, that was a, guarding her each game. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Monahan sees a lane, driving in to McGlone at the free throw line. and get That short corner, maybe mid-range area. Game. Sees Dietz cutting through, but it's picked, up, picked off by McGlone. Macy McGlone is always in the right place at the right time. Mydell's three rattles around the rim. And Macy McGlone, she's the anchor of this defense. And like I mentioned earlier, once you get in, get in the. Brownfield makes both. Rebound went to McGlone and is picked off by Brownfield. Great job there by Addie Brownfield to steal that ball as soon as Macy McGlone brought it down. Throw nine left in the second quarter. And Alyssa Dins is now trying to front. Both DeRoche and Brownfield helping each other up. Brownfield taking the three. Three. A type of player. Western three for seven from beyond the arc. Just one for seven for the Panthers. Here's Lewis with the second chance opportunity. Gives it to Meadows instead. Cross court to Dins. Dins finds Brownfield for three. three. Line. And sinks the on a hand, two seconds on the clock. And McDermott comes up with it. Four, three. McDermott has the lane. And she's gonna talk. Thornton with the ball beyond the arc, guarded by McCowan. Monahan faking the three, and she has an open lane. Hey, was maybe a couple inches away from her. In favor of Eastern Illinois in this, or excuse me, four nothing in favor of Eastern Illinois in this quarter. McCowan pulls for the three, and she gets it. McCowan there, you know, she had a little bit of space. She said, you know what, I'm going to take this shot. And that's what great scorers do. They don't stop shooting the ball. They stay aggressive very well. McCowan over the top of Thornton, and there's McCowan. Pass goes behind McCowan. She'll recover. McCowan found Brownfield driving. Cross and Brownfield coming away with it. Brownfield to Dietz, a long three, sinks. And that one, leave tipped away. 
Here's McCowan. She's got a one on three. She's gonna take it herself. And McCowan. Brownfield, as soon as Bazell thought about spinning, Addy Brownfield kind of poked that ball away. McCowan taking the shot. Her one at the line for Eastern. Macy McGlone. Eastern scoreless in the last four. So a 10 point lead now for Western. And hits the bottom of the backboard. Eastern taking it back. If I'm Addie Brownfield right there, you don't have to push it all the way to the paint. And here's Bazell once again to direct traffic. Under 20 on the shot clock. Three for DeRoche. The lead was up to 11 just a couple minutes ago. Here's Dins backing down McGlone. And she's going to flick that. Scoop layup or jump hook with the left hand. DeRoche wide open on the opposite end of the court. And she Lydell to DeRoche, finds McGlone at the block, guarded by Dins. Brownfield to McCowan, thought about the three, she sees the lane open, she'll take it herself. You get a great shot here, Coach Ballant calling things out, nice little behind the back there by Tiny Lewis. Lewis has to chuck one up and that's going to miss the rim, that's going to be out of bounds. Not too far from here, just within an hour or so. McCowan oh, finds Dins pass. on the backdoor cut. Monahan gives it down to McGlone for Eastern Illinois. McGlone. Meadows to Dietz pulls the three. Uh, doing it all for Western this year. Yeah, absolutely. And no one. Reed, Brownfield once more. And McCowan's got 10 to shoot. Gives it to Dins. Spinning. And try to get something going for Eastern Illinois. Bazell for three and very aggressive in the lane, posting up. Tara Thornton back into this game. She's got four fouls. Here's a three. That one. And there. there's McCowan. That one tipped away. Finds Meadows beyond the arc. Meadows for three. Got a rich history at that high school, Levi. Brownfield, that one off of McCowan's foot, still picked up by Western. Six seconds on the shot clock. McCowan finds Deeds driving through the lane. Through that double team to find her. Thornton finds McGlone. And McGlone. And Meadows is going to pick up that rebound. McCowan has the one on one with Bazell. She loses her balance. Picks Deeds out of Mason City, Iowa. Here's Bazell to Monahan just to shoot the three. That one's going to slide out of bounds. Great needed win for the Leathernecks. They dropped the last four. Now they get revenge against the Panthers.